Hello today's video we have the following content. Bruce Lee's grave in the United States, his son accompanies him, and 12 words are engraved on the tombstone, which makes people think deeply. This is an explanation of the status of Bruce Lee and his son's grave. On July 20, 1973, Kung Fu King Bruce Lee passed away in Hong Kong at the age of 33. The news of Bruce Lee's death shocked the world. Although a grand funeral was held in Hong Kong, his body was eventually transported to the United States for burial. Bruce Lee's grave is located in Lakeview Cemetery in Seattle, where many famous Seattle people are buried. When Bruce Lee passed away, his son Brandon Lee was only eight years old and his daughter Shannon Lee was only four years old. Bruce Lee's wife Linda Emery is an American, but she followed the traditional Chinese funeral custom and wore mourning for her husband. At the funeral, there was a heart-wrenching story. Brandon Lee mistakenly believed that it was all fake, and he only shouted to the coffin, Mom, look, Dad is performing, Dad is performing. No one expected that Brandon Lee would die on the set of a movie. Brandon Lee was born in San Francisco, USA in February 1962. Since his birth, Bruce Lee had high hopes for his son, hoping that he could also embark on the path of Kung Fu, so he taught him some simple Kung Fu early on. Brandon Lee recalled, Since I learned to walk, my father has started training me. He is really a diligent coach. He often lets people go home to practice. Many students come with him. They are like my friends. However, it is regrettable that Brandon Lee eventually embarked on the path of an actor. His father died early, and his mother was busy making a living, which led to Brandon Lee's neglect of discipline. However, his father's halo was too dazzling. Brandon Lee was called the son of the Kung Fu King since elementary school, which made him more and more irritable. He often fought with classmates at school and was expelled from three schools. Shannon Lee said that her brother's rebellious character impressed her deeply. She mentioned in an interview, My father passed away too early, and the stimulation my brother suffered was beyond imagination. For a long period of time, my brother was eccentric, irritable and difficult to communicate with, which was indeed a manifestation of immaturity. As he grew older, Brandon Lee realized more and more about his mother's hardships, and he felt that he should continue his father's acting career. Therefore, after adulthood, Brandon Lee went through hard struggles and gradually emerged in Hollywood and became a powerful actor. In 1985, Brandon Lee was invited by the crew of the movie The Crow to play the leading role. This film is a crime-themed film with a sense of fate and tragedy. In the play, Brandon Lee plays an up-and-coming rock musician, AYR, who lives happily with his fiance in a shabby apartment in the city slums. On Christmas Eve, his wife is brutally murdered by a group of brutal gangsters, and AYR is thrown out of the window and dies. Only a year later, AYR's soul is led by Crows back to the world from hell, and he begins a revenge operation for himself and his fiance. On April 1, 1993, Brandon Lee was shot dead by a live bullet fired from his opponent's prop gun while filming this scene on the set. He was 28 years old. Just like the game of death that his father Bruce Lee failed to complete when he passed away, Brandon Lee's sudden death was supplemented by a double in computer special effects. After his death, Brandon Lee was buried next to his father's tomb, and the two tombstones leaned against each other, accompanying each other forever. In addition, the styles of the father and son's tombs are almost the same. Brandon Lee's black marble tombstone is marked with his birth and death years in his Chinese and English names, while the marble covering the grave is engraved with an English epitaph. Since we cannot predict the time of our death, we often think that life is an inexhaustible wealth, but some things only happen a few times, or to be exact, a very few times. Do you still remember a few afternoons in your childhood, those crucial afternoons that you would no longer be yourself without? Maybe only four or five times, or even less. How many full moons can you still see? Maybe only twenty times. Although you still think it will be endless. Brandon Lee's epitaph was originally intended to be read at the wedding. Bruce Lee's grave, on which the tombstone is crimson marble, is embedded with Bruce Lee's photo and his English and Chinese names in birth and death years. On the marble covering the tomb, there is a black stone carving in the shape of an open book, with a yin yang fish tai chi diagram engraved on it. On the left side are two sentences with twelve Chinese characters, use the lawless as the law, and the infinite as the finite, and on the right side is its English translation, your inspiration continues to guide us toward our personal liberation. These 12 words are profound and thought-provoking, and they really explain Bruce Lee's Kung Fu philosophy. Bruce Lee once said, Everything covers two levels of finite and infinite. We need to create infinite things at the finite level and control finite things at the infinite level. 
This philosophical thinking mode enabled Bruce Lee to push Chinese Kung Fu to a height that future generations cannot climb. Today, more than half a century after Bruce Lee passed away, his tomb has become a sacred place for Kung Fu fans around the world, and people go there every day to pay tribute. Next news. Which Kung Fu star is the best? Zhao Wenzhuo dares to claim second place, no one dares to claim first place. Who is the strongest Kung Fu star? This question has turned the entertainment industry upside down. If anyone dares to claim second place, it must be Zhao Wenzhuo. But first place. Oh, that's interesting. Zhao Wenzhuo, a tough guy who grew up in a martial arts family, started practicing martial arts at the age of 8 and shined in the national martial arts competition at the age of 12. This guy is not a show-off, but a real kung fu master. In 1991, he won the national martial arts championship and became a national athlete. This resume is enough to make many kung fu stars ashamed. However, Zhao Wenzhuo is not satisfied with being the king of the martial arts world. This young hero has a strong desire in his heart, I want to act in a movie. In this way, he broke into the film and television industry with his excellent kung fu. In 1991, Zhao Wenzhuo made his mark in kung fu emperor Fang Shiyu. This movie made the audience's eyes light up, wow, this guy is good, he is good at kung fu and handsome. Then, he got the leading role in Wang Fi Hong, The King's Wind. Think about it, a newcomer who has just entered the industry can take on such an important role. This luck is also unparalleled. However, Zhao Wenzhou does not rely on luck to make a living. He worked hard on the set to practice Kung Fu, and every move required perfection. This energy, even the old actors sighed. In this way, Zhao Wenzhou climbed to the top of the Kung Fu star step by step. In 1993, Green Snake starring Zhao Wenzhou turned out. This movie made him win three nominations for the Hong Kong Film Awards in one fell swoop. You know, the Hong Kong Film Awards is the Oscar of the Chinese film industry. Zhao Wenzhou has gained both fame and fortune. However, the road to fame is never smooth. In 1998, Zhao Wenzhou and another Kung Fu star Donnie Yen had a dispute over a movie. The two of them went back and forth, exposing each other's shortcomings in the media, causing a sensation. This storm caused Zhao Wenzhou's career to fall into a trough for a time. True Gold is not afraid of fire. Zhao Wenzhou quickly made a comeback with his own strength. In 2000, King Julian starring him caused a sensation again. Then, a series of popular film and television dramas such as Hero Zheng Zhenggang, Fan Gai and Xiong Shayangsha and Seven Swordsmen under Xiangshan made Zhao Wenzhou's fame reach a new high. Speaking of this, some people may ask, Zhao Wenzhou is so good, why dare to only claim second place? Don't worry, listen to me slowly. In the arena of Kung Fu stars, there is a person whose position is unshakable, that is Bruce Lee. This legendary figure in the Kung Fu world is not only good at Kung Fu, but also pushed Chinese Kung Fu to the world stage. His influence far exceeds the scope of the film industry. Zhao Wenzhou once said in an interview, Bruce Lee is my idol, and his achievements are beyond my reach. These words are both respect for the predecessors and a clear recognition of his own strength. However, Zhao Wenzhou also has his own uniqueness. Compared with Bruce Lee, Zhao Wenzhou's Kung Fu pays more attention to practicality. He once demonstrated an action of kicking a two-handed sword in the air in a variety show, which aroused heated discussion among the audience. Some people question that this was a special effect, but those who know Zhao Wenzhou know that this is his real Kung Fu. Zhao Wenzhou's success is not only due to his Kung Fu, but also to his love and persistence in martial arts. In an era of special effects, he still insists on shooting action scenes with real Kung Fu. This persistence makes him unique among Kung Fu stars. In 2018, Zhao Wenzhou participated in the variety show Brother Who Cuts Through Thorns. In the show, he showed a unique aura. The kind of awe-inspiring majesty made other stars involuntarily feel awe of him. Netizens even called him the light of righteousness. In 2019, Zhao Wenzhou's martial arts performance at the National Day Gala once again caused a sensation. He stood on the Great Wall and showed a set of smooth martial arts moves, which made the audience excited. This performance not only showed Zhao Wenzhou's Kung Fu, but also showed the charm of Chinese martial arts. Speaking of this, some people may ask, what is Zhao Wenzhou doing now? Don't worry, I'll tell you now. In 2020, Zhao Wenzhou directed and acted in the movie Counterattack. In this movie, he not only showed his Kung Fu, but also tried more acting skills. 
The success of this movie proves that Zhao Wenzhou is not only a kung fu star, but also a well-rounded actor. In 2023, Zhao Wenzhou participated in the Spring Festival Gala and performed the martial arts program Yanwu. This performance once again let the audience see Zhao Wenzhou's kung fu charm. In November of the same year, he also participated in the variety show Who Is Coming. In the show, Zhao Wenzhou not only showed his kung fu, but also shared his life experience, allowing the audience to see more of him. Looking back at Zhao Wenzhou's career, we can see that he's not only a kung fu star, but also a person who constantly challenges himself. From a martial arts champion to a film and television star, from an action actor to a director, Zhao Wenzhou has been trying new fields and constantly breaking through his limits. When we ask which kung fu star is the best, the answer may not be important. What is important is that kung fu stars like Zhao Wenzhuo use their own efforts and persistence to make Chinese kung fu shine on the world stage. They are not only kung fu stars, but also disseminators of Chinese culture. Let's end this article with Zhao Wenzhuo's own words, Kung fu is not for comparison, but for self-cultivation. A true master is always cultivating himself. This is so reasonable. It is worthy of being our kung fu star Zhao Wenzhuo. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 